If you've ever tried cutting your calories, losing weight, you've probably looked at those meal replacement bars, low-fat snacks, and other so-called health foods. But all those processed foods could actually make you be gaining weight. Christine Avanti is the author of Skinny Chicks Eat Real Food. Christine, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, Michelle. It's great to be here. Well, it's so easy to count calories when you eat shakes and diet bars, but you're saying these are the culprits in many of our diet woes. Yeah, you know, when you read the ingredient lists on these, you know, so-called diet foods, what you're going to find are a lot of ingredients that you can't pronounce and you don't know what it is. And my philosophy is, is if you don't know what it is and you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it because the problem with these additives and preservatives is they're actually made in chemistry labs, they're not real food, and our body doesn't really know how to process them and break them down properly. So what happens is it causes a lot of hormonal disruption, which is then going to negatively affect your weight loss. It's actually going to keep weight on, it's going to make you crave more sugar, and it's going to make you overeat, that you, foods that you don't need to overeat. So these processed foods are definitely a very vicious cycle. It's far better to eat real food in moderation, eating every three to four hours, balancing out blood sugar with what I call my PC combos, a lean protein with a healthy carb every three to four hours. That's really the way to go. Okay, so how are these added sugars and refined carbs uh, making us gain weight? They're making us actually more hungry? They're actually causing you to crave more. So a lot of these, a lot of the um, refined, basically refined flours and, and sugars, so it's very, you know, the white sugar, the white flour, all of that, what it does is it causes you to crave sugar because it spikes blood sugar. When your blood sugar spikes, then your blood sugar drops and then you crave more sugar. So it's a very vicious cycle. And again, it's, it's far better off to just wean yourself off of fake food and start eating real food when you're going to get, you know, carbohydrates. I always say, you know, combine a carbohydrate with a protein, meaning a fresh fruit, vegetable, or whole grain, and, and combining it with a lean protein like chicken, fish, uh, dairy, anything like that. Combining those two is going to stabilize blood sugar, is going to make your, you boost your metabolism, and you're not going to crave anything. And the other thing, important thing is, is as you're in the new year and you're incorporating all these changes into your diet, don't frustrate yourself by depriving yourself. Uh, my new favorite healthy indulgence is like a nice glass of wine at the end of the day. I love these new skinny vine wines. They're full of flavor, yet only 95 calories per five ounce serving. They're amazing. I paired up with a nice piece of cheese. Alouette has these new like 40 calorie portions. It's all real food, by the way. Again, perfect to end your day. So it's all about keeping balance, moderation, getting away from the factory foods, and incorporating real food every three to four hours, and then indulging every once in a while. It's a great way to stay on track for the new year, lose weight, reach your goals without sacrificing, you know, your, your favorite things in the middle of it. All about moderation. All right, what if we're busy and of course we're all on the go, how do we make time to eat healthy food? Well, you know, you've got to plan ahead. So one thing I recommend in the book, and, and I do this in my clients too, is we, we prep on the weekends. So you do your grocery shopping on the weekends. In advance, you want to, you know, hard cook a dozen eggs, uh, roast a chicken, make your sweet potatoes, make your brown rice, put everything in Tupperware containers in your fridge. And so you can just grab and go throughout the week. It's, it's really, really simple as long as you prepare and plan in advance. You know, and, it, and if you plan nothing, then your result is going to be failure. So you've got to plan and have success. you got to plan. All right, thanks, Christine. Let's check in with Michael.